Hey guys, Jerry here, and welcome back to Banished. I must admit, it's been a little while since I've recorded this. I did a long session last time, and they've, they've been taking a while to release. Um, and there was that whole mix-up with episode 13, where I accidentally uploaded the raw footage. Sorry about that. Um, I was wondering why it seemed to take so long to upload and process, but uh, yeah, there you have it. I made a mistake, I fixed it, and hopefully you guys have forgiven me by now. So, we're back in Banished, and our labor shortage has pretty much, you know, disappeared. We have six labors in, in surplus, we have two builders who have absolutely nothing to do. Um, so, we're actually quite good on that front, which means that we can expand one of our industries. And I think the one we want to expand instantly is the stone cutters, because I believe if I'm not completely mistaken, that we actually... No, we don't have anyone living in a boarding house, but we do need more houses in general. And we're gonna need to, you know, beef up our uh, stone supply, because we're gonna need a new cemetery soon enough as well. It seems that uh, people like dying in this town. But yes, um, as you can see here, apparently graves do decay, because this one... Just a moment ago, it had 43, now it has 44, so someone else just died. Which means that all the people we just assigned to stonecutters are now trying to replace other people as well. Uh, we can unassign the builders, we don't need those. So, last time I mentioned that I wanted to build the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, so that we would get access to this area over here. And plus, it would give us an achievement. And, to be honest, with this game, without the achievements to actually try and reach for, um, I don't think there's much purpose to, to really have uh, playing it. Like, I love that there are these achievements, and that there, there are actually achievements, and not just, you know, rewards for playing the tutorial, rewards for starting up the game, that sort of thing. But you actually have to, you know, use it for something. Um, and they're, they're worth striving for. So, like, a lot of these we can do eventually. Um, and, um, yeah, a, a lot of them, like, they're gonna take some time, but the Golden Gate, is, at least, is the one we can do pretty much right away. And that's kind of cool. Um, so I think that's pretty much what we're gonna do immediately. We have a lot of um, logs here, and it's late winter and we still have excess firewood, so... Let's see, this guy has a lot of iron. Do we want to buy iron? Do we want to trade some firewood for some iron? Since winter is nearly over, I guess we can do that. Oh, paying by four units. So let's let's take this down to nine nine. Just be just be greedy for a bit. Trade. Sell some firewood. Get some iron. Uh, save or minus that hassle. And yeah, you know, let's get started on that bridge. So I'm gonna pause the game for a moment here while we actually look at where we. And the snow stopped. Nice. Um, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. With the pause that it actually stops the snow as well. So, one obvious spot to put the bridge from would be here, I guess. Um, that would allow us to, you know, go all the way across here and land right about here, which is pretty much perfect. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. Uh, that's a boarding house, and that's a bridge. So, if we start the bridge... Can we start it right here? I don't know, it, it did light up green, but... Yes, we can, but I think it would actually prevent access from the road on this side, because, yeah, you can't start it here. You can start it right there, though, and we can start it over here, next to the fisherman. Would that render it useless? No, I think that actually might be just as good. All the way over here is too far, but right here next to the fisherman, I think, would be pretty good. So if we do it here... You see, we're pretty much just cutting across the entire bit here. But... 288 planks, we can nearly afford this just by... So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it! And then instantly we will build a stone road that goes to it. You know, just because why not. I don't know what road people will prefer to take to actually reach it from wherever they happen to be. Um, we'll see that once the bridge is built and we actually have a reason for people to cross it. But yeah, building this bridge, um, it's gonna take a lot of resources. And as you can see, it's a long b bridge. 288 logs, 72 stones. <clears throat> it's a good thing that we um, added a couple of stone cutters, I think. Also, that, is that trader still around? I wonder if we can make him 
What else? Can we make him bring stone next time? Yes, we can. Alright, bring him stone. Let's see, all our locks have been removed now, pretty much. And they've just about made it. <laughs> uh, two thirds of the way there. It's gonna take a bit of time, you know, to, to fill it up completely. Also, didn't we clear cut this area? It seems that someone pl replanted it again. I don't mind at all. Which mean, that just means we can clear cut it one more time. So. See, we have our chickens in here laying eggs and having fun. Giving quite a bit of meat, it's, it's fine. Um, and then over here we have the other chicken pen also giving a lot of stuff. We have the sheep here, producing wool. Anglas. Um, I don't know, did we actually tell the tailor to start making warm coats again, or... Uh, tailor, you are making warm coats. Yes, you are. Excellent. Excellent. And you're making steel tools, because we have lots of iron, lots of coal, so we can do that. What's the cap for tools? 200? Fine, I guess. And they managed to clear cut all the locks here. Also nice. That should hopefully fill up what we need for the bridge here. Um, there's a, yeah, there's like 20 something missing, it's fine. We have our fields over here, uh, which are being planted slowly. I think they're... Yeah, they're, they're being planted slowly. I think we, we have a lot of farmers. We have 14 farmers working on all of these different stuff. The orchard here, of course, doesn't need a lot of tending because it's just growing up. So the farmers here, I guess, are helping on the other spots. I would assume so, I would hope so. Because that's that would make make it that would be very convenient for us. I'll, I'll say it that way. But yeah, as you can see the food supply we had eight thousand or so when we started, now we have a bit less. And there are nomads at the town hall. Sixteen of them. <sighs> Do we wanna take a risk? We're gonna have to find jobs for them. Which means even more farmland. Let's take the risk. Hopefully, hopefully there's not a second set now. Alright. Um, farmland. More farmland. This We made an orchard here. I think I'm gonna cancel that as well. Uh, remove that. And remove resource. Remove buildings. That. And then put a farm instead. Because I think the farm gives a slightly more immediate production. So the challenge now... Because we added these, all, all we got all these nomads in here is to get enough food to feed them all. Let's just make it as big as we can. Um, put some more squash on it. Then we'll add four more farmers. We will add another builder. We will add some stone cutters. Uh, let's see. Do we actually need anything else? We have two vendors. That's a lot, actually. Um, do we need anything else here? That's the question. We don't really don't. Like, we have all these laborers that we can just pretty much tell to, you know, mine, cut wood. Or we could, you know, put my plan into ful uh, fulfillment and actually make another blacksmith. And, you know, get some more st steel tools and some more wool coats going on. We do have homeless people now. Uh, there are only so many places to in these. So I think we need to pretty much ASAP set up a... Just another wooden house, you know, get a bit more um, housing for people going on here. I was just wondering if we, how many houses we can fit in this corner. We can only fit three. Well, let's do it. Um, let's just get a wooden house there and then set priority. We need to get these people housed, the ones that don't have houses. Uh, priority is in here. There we are. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this new field will be enough to sustain, sustain at least for the next season uh, the other guys that we just got in. It's going to be a bit difficult to, um, you know, manage with this many people. But hopefully we can do, like the cows, they're slowly breeding as well, so hopefully before too long they will start producing stuff. Um, I think cattle actually only produce stuff when you, um, yeah, you know, butcher them. So that means that we won't get anything from this until we reach the uh, the limit. But then once we do start butchering them, we'll have leather and beef being made there. In quite decent amounts, as if I recall correctly. 
But yeah, it's a good thing the Nomads came in early summer so we can ma so we actually had time to, you know, uh, set up this extra field. And then let's quickly remove resources here and then just start clear cutting this area here of everything. That's something for the laborers to do. Now I'm it, it it was a risk taking in those nomads, but it also does give us, you know, a head start in getting higher population. Yeah, we need more stone for this one, so I think it's a good thing we clear out this area over here with all the stone on. But yeah, all of these fields, um, it's gonna be interesting to see if we can get it. Like, we should have enough farmers to harvest them all in time, provided the winter doesn't come really early and just kinda spoil the harvest. Um, but we should have enough, you know, to get them all in time. And I'm just seeing here the, the marketplace will only reach the houses we place on this side of the road, not this one over here. Although, I think because there is a storage barn over here with food in, uh, it shouldn't be a problem because it's very close. So, but yeah, we need to get this house done. And that means they need the last couple of stones, so hopefully they will have gather some stone over here so we can actually get this house and get people housed. The boarding house does have room in it, um, but I think it can only c contain like four families or so. Yeah, like that. There, there, uh, there appears to be a limit on just the amount of, of families you can have in there. But yeah, once we <clears throat> once we get this bridge done and get our achievement for that, like that's that's a, it's a big expenditure of resources here. Um, maybe not perfectly, you know, um, justified to do it, other than the fact that I want to get an achievement. <laughs> but um, having having it, it's kind of it's like again, just you know, so we have a bit of evidence for our progress that we've made. Come on, build this house. We built this city. Now we need to finish it. <laughs> 28, 29, 30. There we go. That should be all the homeless people, hopefully. I hope the homeless will take priority, if anything. Then someone from the uh, the boarding house will move in here, and then the homeless can move in the boarding house. Or, you know, they could just uh, leave the house empty and abandoned. Oh, there we go. Fine. No more homeless people. We have people in the boarding house, we have people in the homes. And hopefully they will start shopping and bring in some inventory. Now you can see there's a lot of harvesting going on right now. Which is a good thing. Um, I think they're already harvesting this, yeah, this field ran out of time, so it, it did man never managed to get to... They're still growing as they're harvesting them, so... It'll keep making a bit more. But yeah, I hope we can sustain these people for the winter. I really, really do. I think we might... Oh, we have 600 limit there. That should be fine. We have a lot of iron all of a sudden. Because we bought a bunch, of course. Uh, that makes sense. I think I'm gonna deconstruct this one and maybe, uh, you know, put a couple of houses over here. I think that makes sense. So, remove structures. This one. We have a bunch of extra laborers again. Let us get... Um, two more miners and then let's... Increase the priority of these coal mine here. We have a lot of coal here, it's just not being delivered. I don't know quite why that is. But yeah, it seems our grave graveyards, uh, at the moment, they're sort of <coughs> at capacity, I'd say. Not, not quite at capacity, but they're sort of in a steady state where graves decay at about the same rate that we can add them, so. At least it's good that there's grave decay, that means that um, you, well, you only need a finite number of graveyards if you want to get to a, like, the number of graveyards you need depends on your population and not how long uh, your town has existed. So like, as soon as we, if we ever got to like 50 years, we'd need to like, have like 5 graveyards, we can maybe only do with 3, and then have a population of 300 or so. My voice is disappearing rapidly here. Um, <coughs> hopefully. Clearing my throat here will help it a bit. But yeah, I am worried about the food situation. I really am. Um, we'll see how it goes. There's really nothing you can do but just let the time, you know, tell. Or time dictate. Let's get another well-insulated house over here. We can afford one more within the range of the marketplace and then we'll have to consider starting a new one. It looks as though the bridge here is being built nicely. The workers, the builders are hard at work. Let's add some more, you know. 
we have the livers. And add two more stone cutters because why not? Get some more people crushed under falling rocks over here. I still don't get the whole herb thing, uh, medicine, because in all the time that we've been here, we've hardly used any of it. Suggesting that one guy can just pretty much. Oh, yeah, he brought stone. Excellent. But winter is come and we don't have that much firewood, so I don't, I don't really don't want to trade firewood away from stone. But I do maybe want to trade away some steel tools for some stone. Although stone is really, really expensive. Damn. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. Too, too, too expensive. One stone is not this, um, to me, is not worth one ale. That's just how it is. Alright, let's see here. Food. We've managed to bring up to 6,000 something. I guess that's decent enough. Um, let's see, graph. I need food, the food graph. Now, this graph doesn't really tell me much because, well, the population. Each population will use a specific number of food, so you can like you can, you can make a um, sort of a uh, you know a, a straight line here and say okay, this is how much food we use per hour uh, per year. That's the slope of this line. And then you can say okay, so in order to you know go up a year, then we need to harvest this much food. Blah 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 blah. And then you can have another graph. And then but because our population recently changed pretty drastically. Um, all of the all of that information is kind of outdated, and we'll just have to kind of go with it. I think we might be in a slight food um, deficit right now. Let's get some wooden houses over here and just get people out of the boarding house. I don't know if the boarding house is better than a normal house. Um, I really don't. It, it it is made of stone, so in that sense, I would assume that it actually. Oh, achievement unlock Golden Gate. Unfortunately, I'm playing a window, so you guys can't see that. But oh, received an award. So yes, you can you can see that. Achievements. And Golden Gate, bam, lit up. A bridge at least 50 tiles long. We have made an achievement. It's actually quite a nice bridge. Um, of course it serves. No purpose whatsoever. But it's a nice bridge. It is a nice bridge. <laughs> <coughs> I think what we need to do is just kind of put a forest of lodge or something over here, you know, to make it so that the bridge is not in vain completely. Can we just like put a forest of lodge all the way back here? And then say, all right, extend the road. I'm, I'm hoping that I, you know. Where is the forest of lodge actually planned? It's right here. All right. So it would be there. So I think a forest of lodge and maybe a fishing hut over here would be good, um, because I think there's a bit more water available over here for, you know, fish. For instance, if we look. Uh, if we could place a fishing rod here, that would be pretty, pretty swell. Where, where is the most amount of water available around it? That would actually be something like this, but uh, yeah, right there's pretty good. But of course, uh, then it would be even more bridges connecting it to the, the actual bridge. Uh, over here, how much water do we have? Not that much, actually. Uh, how about over something like this? See, right here on this edge would also be really good. But yeah, I think we just want to... Let's just put it here. Like, we need... A reason to have this bridge. But also, oh, we have... We have, we already have an extra fishing dock. Oh, I forgot about that. So we have eight... Do we have eight fishermen? Yes, we do. Alright, we're through winter and we've actually used a lot less food, food than I anticipated. Are they just planting randomly? Or has it been a warm winter? Or are there those weeds? 
No, I think they're just kind of planting randomly. Or what? Or is it some sort of disease? Normally, if, like, if it's a disease, I'll get a no no uh, notification. Um, anything here? Nope, a lot of people dying, a lot of people being replaced, a lot of people being born and working and growing up. But nothing about random weeds appearing on our fields. Okay, they've suddenly landed themselves into into ro uh, nice and neat rows. That does help. Um, and now our food supply slow again. Or not food, uh, wood supply, sorry. And which of course makes a lot of sense considering that we've, uh, you know, used a lot of wood. Yeah, how many more houses do we need? We have... No, we've actually managed to clear out the boarding house. Alright. I guess one of these single old people died. Um, at the moment, I don't think we need more houses then. I think we're gonna stick with the amount of houses we have, and then we, I think we need to start uh, working on getting another tailor and another blacksmith set up. But that's gonna be for the next episode. Uh, we're still doing final graves, we're getting our fields planted rapidly with all our farmers. It looks as though the orchard is finally ready to start producing stuff. Our sheep is nearly full. Sheep pen is nearly full. Uh, chicken pen, of course, always full. We have our cow pen, where some of them, one of them, has died of old age. Apparently, that didn't give anything. So hopefully, they will start, you know, making more calves. And yeah, overall, pretty good situation. We might be in a bit of food deficit, but we'll figure that out somehow. Um, next time. So until then, I'm Jerry, this has been Banished, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!